Hey guys, what is up? I'm Zephyas Vescor. I'm the solo laner for the Challenger Cup team, uh, Deity Gaming. I have been playing Smite for a few years now. I have over seven or eight hundred hours now, but they're not tracked on Smite Guru just because I have my profile hidden so that when we do scrims or whatever or play against other people, they can't see my builds. Anyways, so today we're going to be going over the solo lane builds. Uh, playing ranked, I see a lot of people that are completely lost, right? So this is to help people that don't know how to play a god, don't know how to build a god, or don't know just how a god works in general for the solo lane. So we're going to go down the list of solo laners. Um, this is It won't just be warriors, but it'll be mainly warriors, because that's what you're mostly seeing in the solo lane as of this current meta. A while ago you could have played um, assassins, uh, mages, hunters, um, sometimes some guardians work in the solo lane, but it's mainly your warriors. Your warriors are they're your bread and butter for smite, right? So first we're going to be starting off with the Matarasu. Um, I'm a uh, somewhat of a basic attack oriented god outside of her two. Um, so what it does is uh, her two is heavenly reflection. Uh, you use it. You charge up a little mirror. As the as you gain and deal damage, that mirror gets charged and it'll do double damage when you shoot it out. Uh, your one is sort of like a stance switcher. So if you're in the red stance, you do a bonus. I think it's 35 power at max rank. And then if you're in the yellow stance, you do, or you have a 25% movement speed, I believe. And then this is just a silence with a dash. And this, if you're um, her ultimate, if you're um, familiar with the old Guan Yu ultimate, the bongos back in old Smite, um, it's basically the first hit does damage, second hit does damage, and if you hit anything on the first and the second hits, then the third hit will stun. And it's a big AoE cone, right? Okay, so, items. Starter, you're looking at, if you're new, you might want to try Death Toll, right? Death Toll will provide you some sustain with a little bit of power and some health. For me, I usually like Bluestone Pendant. Alma needs the help with the clear, plus she needs the mana. But if you're newer, um, Bluestone Pendant works just as well. Then you're going to be wanting to go um, Boots 1, and you will get... Um, five health pots and four multi pots, right? Or three multi pots. Yeah. So that's that's like your starter. You get either starter, then you get boots, health pots, multi pots. <clears throat> After that, you're gonna be looking into um, damn. Oh, and for the relic, you just want teleport, right? You want here. Let's just put that in here. You want teleport. Teleport gets you the lane. Uh, it's pretty much necessary in every solo lane god unless you're playing something off meta like um, if you're playing like Hubwa Solar, if you're playing like Apollo or something like that. Something off meta, something that's not really a warrior or a guardian, you'll want teleport. Alright, so for damage, right, you'll, you're going to want to finish boots and you're going to want to get warrior tabi. Do not get ninja tabis on Amaterasu. It's not worth it. It never will be. It's not good. Don't build that. <laughs> if you're against a physical solo laner, if, if you're against an ADC, you'll want Hide of the Nemean Lion, right? So if you're against your Apollos, um, AMC, Artemis, you know, stuff like that, you will want Hide of the Nemean Lion. If you're against any other solo laner, if you're against another warrior, or if you're against um, non-basic attack-oriented assassins, like um, maybe Bastet or something, you'll want Breastplate of Valor. Um, as well as since because you're on Ama, the 20% cooldown reduction is very useful, as well as the 300 mana. This gives you 200 mana, but the 300 mana is really nice, as well as the cooldown reduction. So after you get uh, one of those two defensive items, you're probably going to want to go into a um, Frostbound Hammer. Frostbound Hammer is amazing on Ama because your basic attacks, your hit chain is 1.51. So you can get your basic attacks off very quickly, and what this will do is it'll allow you to charge your, um, your shield quicker, as well as sticking to targets and providing a slow for the rest of your team. So after you get Frostbound... Uh, well, you'll typically get Frostbound. Um, I mean, this is a build for the solo lane, so it always switches around. So, don't expect this to be the catch-all. This is always what you're going to build. It's not. Chances are you'll build this. You'll build something like this most of the time, but not all the time. Uh, next up, you'll want Bulwark of Hope. Right? Bulwark is just a very good item. You get that big-ass 30% health shield at low health. Plus, you get 60 magical protections and 200 health. CCR is alright, but it helps. Um, oh, I forgot. If you're against a magical solo laner, you'll want, um, 
you want Genji's Guard, right? This gives you similar CDR, it gives you MP5, and it gives you protections. It's basically Breastplate of Valor, but a little bit different, right? Uh, the passive on this, though, fantastic. Whenever you take magical damage from abilities, your cooldowns are reduced by 2 seconds. This can only occur once every 30 seconds. <clears throat> so if you're laning, laning against, like, uh, like Kabraken, and he just smacks you with his basics, or hits you with his 1, or his 2, or whatever, um, your cooldowns are reduced by 2 seconds. It doesn't sound like much, but it helps a lot. It can be really clutch in some situations as well. <clears throat> so, after you get that, if you're really ahead, you can go into Chin Size. Or you can go into Jotuns. Or you can go into Titans. Any of those will work. I like Chins, just because it's very in the meta and it gives you a lot of power with a lot of attack speed. But Jotuns and Titans are also very good. You won't typically be building Brawler's Beat Stick, but if you're playing with a team of adamant assholes that refuse to build anti-healing because they're like, Oh, I can't sacrifice damage or whatever. Fuck it then get brawlers. But typically you won't want to. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> oh, I've been sick, so I have to clear my throat a shit ton or whatever. Okay. So here we're at one. You get one of these two, so two, three, four, and then five. Right? Yeah, five. Okay. So then your sixth item will probably be... Or if you're not ahead and you don't want to go straight into damage you'll get either you'll get something like a mantle or you can get hide or you can get spirit robe i wouldn't recommend magi's just because 15 protections for each it's not that good in my opinion so you can get any of the cloaks except for magi's really i mean i guess you could get magi's but i wouldn't recommend it in my opinion just because like you have the cc immune ult plus you're a warrior you don't really need much more um some other options, I guess. Um, void Shield. You could get Void Shield if you wanted to. <clears throat> if you're just fucking around, Shield of Regrowth is really fun to just fuck around with. It's not great, but I mean, it's fun. Um, you won't typically be building Ansile. I would recommend against it. It's just not very good right now. It doesn't give a lot, many stats for the price. Uh, Runic Shield, though. If you're against um, someone like Freya, Alquang, maybe even Scylla, if you're that scared of all her magical power... <clears throat> you can get Runic Shield then. Or if you're playing against, like, Kronos. Uh, Runic Shield is really good against Kronos. So you can get something like that. Or you can get... Um, what are some of the others? You don't, you won't really be building this tree. I mean, you could, but it's not really good. Uh, if they have healing, you can get Pestilence. Um, you won't really be building Oni Hunter's Garb, just because Genji's is kind of the same thing, but better. And honestly... The stacks that you get from that passive, you won't keep them. Not for very long at all. Not if you're playing solo. And that's really like the role that would be building it. Um, Don't build anything here. Please don't. Uh, that should be it. Uh, you can get Midguardian if you're against like Bakasura. Midguardian is very good against him. Uh, slows his attacks and his um, movement speed, so it's very good. The physical protections aren't great, but... Midgardian is very good in general. Alright, so that's what you'll be building on Ama. These are your this is your main item pool. You can deviate a little bit, but not too much. <clears throat> Next up, Bologna. Sorry, that was probably just someone looking for scrims or whatever. Bologna. Bluestone. No. Don't get bluestone on Bologna. Get Death's Toll. Death's Toll, if you have um if you use your hammer. Every time you swing your hammer, you're going to be getting 3 procs of Death's Toll. So you're going to be healing for 18 and getting 3 mana back with one, 1 basic. Because you'll be hitting the 3 front minions, the back archers, whatever. You'll get 3. Death's Toll is really good on Bologna and Osiris. So just... I wouldn't recommend Bluestone. You could, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I don't like Jungle Bologna. That's just my opinion. I've tried it a few times, I don't like it. So I wouldn't recommend Bumbas unless you're jungling, but I don't recommend it. Uh, next up, it's the same thing, really. You'll want Breastplate of Valor if you're against um, any other solo laner. And your start is exactly the same. You're going to get Boots 1, 5 Health Pots, um, 3 Multi Pots, and Teleport 1. Or Teleport, not Teleport 1. This isn't Season 2. So you'll want Breastplate of Valor, and then if you're against um, like an ADC, Hide. 
If you're against Bakasura, mid guardian. So this is if you're against a warrior, generally. If you're against an ADC, pretty much you're gonna want this, or a hunter, not an ADC, because like Freya is an ADC. Uh, mid guard if you're against Bakasura. Your core, right? Your bread and butter. What you're gonna want? You're gonna want. Um, you're gonna. F you're gonna finish boots before any of these, right? So just remember that you're gonna finish boots, and then you're gonna get one of these. Then you're gonna want to go into. You can get Frostbound if you're either even or ahead. If you're behind, don't get Frostbound second. You'll want to get, like, Bulwark second. Right? Or if you built, um, Bulwark slash Genji's Guard first because you're against a Magical Solo laner, that's when you'll pick up Breastplate, Nemean, or Midgard. Okay, so after you get, um, Bulwark, Pestilence, or Genji's, which I would recommend Bulwark or Pestilence because you don't really need the CDR on Bologna. It helps, but you don't really need it. Um, that should be good. Afterwards, they're probably going to want to get, um, Hide of the N Urchin. There it is. Oh, what did I just click? Huh, whatever. Um, you want to get Hide of the Urchin. Or you can get Spirit Robe, or you can get Mantle. There's pretty good options, so you don't have to. Um, Jotuns, I like Jotuns on Bologna. You don't have to. You can get Titan's Bane as well. They're both very good, but if you want to cap out CDR, I would get Jotuns. Um, you can get Brawlers. It's not great. I don't know. I don't really like Brawlers on Warriors. I feel like it's more of an Assassin or more of a um, Hunter thing. But you can do Brawlers. I mean, it's not. There's not really anything wrong with it. If you're against another, um, if you're against like, uh, like who, like Chalk. If you're against like Chalk or um, Bakasura, you could get Brawlers to counter their healing. Bakasura from the minions, eating the minions with his two, Chalk from healing with his rain dance with his three, whatever. Um, so yeah, you can do that. Um, the options are pretty much the same. Frostbound is. Oh, I already have that. Frostbound's really good on Bologna. You can do chins if you want to. Um, I would typically re recommend against it, though, because at least with Ama, you get the 10% more damage from all sources if you get three basic attacks on someone, and if you have attack speed, that just helps. So, that's an option. Don't get fucking attack speed and crit on Bologna. I swear to God. The amount of people that you'll see in ranked that are building, like, full damage, attack speed, and crit Bologna, no. They, they will feed their brains out. Um, you can get Winged Blade as well. Winged Blade is very good. You can also get Winged Blade on Ama. I forgot to mention that. Um, any of the cloaks, you won't really be building these. If Stone of Gaia ever gets the protections back or whatever, you'll be building the fuck out of that. If you're against, like, Loki, you can get Mystical. Um, you can get Sov if your support doesn't want to pick it up. But, eh, it's not that great. Midgard if you're against Baka. You know, you know. Same stuff as before. Alright. That's pretty much how you're going to build most solo laners, except if you're playing like, um, who else? Who's got a different build? Odin? If you're really far ahead, you can get like Titans, Jotuns, and like Beat Stick on Odin, if you're really far ahead, because that's what he does. He will pub stomp the fuck out of someone. I would recommend just getting Jotuns or Titans if you're wanting damage. But you can get more. I would not get, like, Frostbound or Chins on Odin. You know, don't get those basic attack-oriented things. So, um, Chalk, you won't really be playing Chalk in the solo lane. Um, he just, I mean, he wins lane by default, right? That's Chalk. He wins lane. But, the thing is, he doesn't really do much late, right? So, Chalk is about the same thing. He's pretty much the same build, as all of the other solo laners. Oh, excuse me. So, you'll get that start. You'll finish boots. You'll get your breastplate, or you'll get your Nemean, or you'll get. If you're against Odin and he's destroying you, and you're any solo laner, you can get Spectral. That's not off limits, right? You can get Spectral. It's not great. I'll give it. I'll give you that. It's not great. It's not that good, because it's only when you have a relic, plus if you're playing a warrior, you wouldn't really be dying. D um, once again, yeah, you'll, you'll want your, um, teleport. 
there's not really much different about chalk. You just won't really be building, um, you won't be building Frostbound. You won't be building Chen Size. That's about it. On chalk, if you're going to go for damage, actually, okay, we're just going to run through the chalk build. Fuck it. So the, this, this is your build or whatever. Then you're going to want to run your Bulwark. Or if you're ahead, you will want, fuck, you'll want Jotuns. Uh, you can get Jotuns, you can get Brawlers. Brawlers is actually pretty good on Chalk. Your 1, and your 2, and your Ultimate. All will proc it in a massive AoE. So it's pretty good. Titans, pretty good as well. I like the CDR on Chalk, but that's me. Get it if you want. You don't have to. Titans Bane will give you more overall damage. Because it has a lot more pen, with uh, just a little bit less power. So, do whatever. Um, you won't build anything out of this tree, so forget Chins, forget Xy, forget Aussie. Don't get Lifesteal, I swear to god, if you get Lifesteal on Chalk, Transcendence. This isn't great, right? If you're absolutely stomping, and you know that you will not lose that lead, because if every other lane is stomping, and you're stomping your lane, and you're 3-0 uh, at 5 minutes or whatever, if you're incredibly far ahead... Build Transcendence. Otherwise, I advise against it. Sorry, my uh, buddies are texting in the group chat. Don't get anything here unless like you're getting Void Shield. You can get Pestilence. Um, Genji's as well as if you're against a Magical. Once again, you'll, you won't be wanting Frostbound or whatever. You can get Midgard. You can get anything here. <laughs> That's pretty much a chalk build. Same thing for Guan Yu. Guan Yu, max out CDR on Guan Yu. You can be feeding your brains out, but if you max out CDR on Guan Yu and you get that heal on like, a, what is it, like a three or four second cooldown with his passive plus CDR plus like Genji's, it's crazy. So do that. Hercules, you won't be playing Hercules much. I'm going to tell you that right now. You will not be playing Hercules very much. He's not very good. Um, Odin, pretty much the same thing as Chalk, Guan, and Herc. Osiris, you'll want to be building what Ama and Bologna are building with Chin Size Frostbound. Same with Raven. Sun Wukong, Tier, Vamana. Actually, no, never mind. Sun Wukong and Tier. Same thing as Chalk, Guan, Herc, Odin. You'll get Tanky, you'll get Power, you'll get Pen. You will not build Chin Size, you will not build Frostbound. You will build Frostbound and Chins on Vamana. No shit, dude. Frostbound and Chins on Vamana is disgusting. Like, there was, I had a game a while ago. It's not my match history anymore because I play way too much of this fucking game. But I did 46,000 player damage. 46,000 in a 45-minute game. More than anyone else on my team. Our mid had DC'd, which, which helped my damage, right? But whatever. Vamana does a lot of damage. You'll want Frostbound, you'll want Chins. Now, for your assassins in the solo lane, Rata, right? Rata's weird, okay? I don't think Rata will be viable once they get his numbers tweaked. But if you're playing Rata, you can go Death's Toll, you can go Bluestone, either one. I recommend Bluestone, but you can do Death's Toll. Then you will want your Acorn of Yggdrasil. I Yggdrasil? I don't know. Because that's what your boots are. You'll want to be kind of tanky. So you'll want Breastplate. But then you'll want, like, Jotuns. You can get Bulwark. And then you'll just want damage. Power and pen, power and pen, power and pen. Now, Susano. Same thing as Rata. You'll want boots, power, pen, the mace tree, but a little bit tanky. I don't think he'll be viable solo once his numbers are tweaked either. Um, There's no other really viable gods for solo that are assassins. Maybe Bakasura, but he's not as good now since the boar got removed. Because uh, if you remember, if you played back when um, the boar, the one boar was still in, you could run over jump on it, do a few auto attacks, 
eat it, and it's gone. It's yours. So that's that's it. But if you're going to be playing Baka, you won't want life steal, and that's going to sound weird. But trust me, you will not want life steal. You will do so much more damage without life steal. And if you have like a Guan Yu support, or if you have a Sylvanas, or if you have a Guan Yu jungle, or if you have a Ra, or even an Isis, if you have any healer, or anyone that can give you protections like Kepri or just revive you, you will not want life steal. You can get it, but you'll do a lot more damage without it. So you want Death's Toll just because Bluestone won't really proc. It won't. Not on many abilities. You want boots. Let's just finish these. You will want Ikaval. See, Baka's weird, right? He's one of the few solo laners that are somewhat viable right now that you will not build protections on. Just because Baka will absolutely shred and he does not need protections. So, um, after you get Ikaval, you will want Chins. You will want Fatalis. Um, you will want... What else? If you're gonna get Lifesteal, you're getting Bloodforge or you're getting Aussie. Right? Don't get Devos. Don't get Soul Eater. Don't get Soul Eater on anyone. Not even if you're fed as an ADC and you're fucking around with your friends, you're gonna regret it. You can get Wing Blade. You can get Witch Blade. You can get um, pretty much anything with attack speed. If you're absolutely stomping and their team is really squishy, you can get Wind Demon. You can get Deathbringer, whatever. I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend for just going power and pen and attack speed. Stone cutting, right? Stone cutting sword. Very good on Bakasura. Very good, very good. Um You can get frostbound. If you're getting Fatalis, don't get Frostbound. If you're getting Frostbound, don't get Fatalis. Just as a general rule. Alright, that's about it that I can see that you'll want to be building mainly. But, if you're somewhat behind and you want to kind of come back into the game and you want to kind of like, you want to do a lot of damage but you also want to be really annoying, you can get Breastplate and you can get Bulwark. You can do that. Go for it. Go fucking crazy. That's pretty much all your solo gods. Um, that's pretty much it. Guardians. Fafnir. No. Fafnir cannot clear the wave, even at level 9, with a purple pot. Do not play Fafnir solo. He's fun as fuck, I'll give you that. I played like one game of Joust with him earlier. He's fun as fuck. I'm telling you that right now. He's very fun, but do not play him solo. If you're playing a Guardian solo, you're playing Athena, you're playing Kabraken, Kumba, or Sobek, or Shing. So we'll go down the line. Athena. Guardians and solo, you'll get full power, you'll get full defense. So the same defensive items you'll get on warriors, you'll get on guardians. Except you'll probably be getting um maybe a void stone if you want damage. <sighs> oh, excuse me. You'll be getting a void stone if you want damage, or you'll be getting like a um you can get Polynomicon and Soul Reaver if you really want to. But I wouldn't. If you're getting any offensive items, you should get Voidstone Soul Reaver. That's about it. Kabraken. Kabraken is fucking stupid in solo. He's really bad if you play safely in the first few minutes of the game. He's really good if he gets ahead. You're going to be starting Mark of the Vanguard. Purple Pot. Two Mana Pots. Or two multipots, it's your call. If you think you can conserve mana, go multipots. I like to go multipots. So, that's what you're going to be starting. You're going to get your pen boots. What the fuck? Shoes. Whatever, shoes. Wow. You're going to get your pen pen shoes. That sounds stupid. You're going to get your, um, warlocks. And this is... These two items, these won't change. Right? These will not change if you're playing Kabrak and Solo. Almost every time, that's what you're going to be building. Then you either get Breastplate, or you get Bulwark. That's pretty much it. And then you just build Tanky. If you want more damage, Ethereal Staff, you can do Voidstone, 
You can do... what else? You can do Soul Reaver, you can do... Where's Polly? Polynomicon? You can do any of that, right? Any of that stuff. It's fun as fuck to go damage on Kabraken. I'm just gonna put down a bunch of shit that you that you can pick up and you'll do well with. Anything like this. Anything here. Anything. You will do very well with these items. That's pretty much what you're gonna want to be building on Kabraken for solo. Um, the other guardians aren't really viable. Bacchus... <sighs> Bacchus is weird, right? If you have, like, a Neja jungle, or if you have... Any other jungler with a lot of early kill potential, like you got your Neja, Fenrir, Rata, Susano, Thanatos, Thor, Bastet. Those guys are kind of what you're going to want to be running, like, something stupid solo with. Like, if Bacchus gets ahead early, or if Ares gets ahead early, it doesn't matter that you won't clear, because your chains or your belly flop will fucking hurt, right? And people will not come near the wave. You can actually win lane if you get the first two... If you get two kills in solo at five minutes. Or at, um, five seconds or whatever into the game. You can do that. Koomba Carnage. Same build as Kabraken, pretty much. Except you won't really be getting, um... What the f... I meant to click on God Builder, but wow. That's... Well, there you go. That's my win rate for, um, Koomba and solo. Um, you'll want your... Don't do Soul Stone, dude. Don't do it. You want Mark of the Vanguard. You will want Purple Pot. So it's it's the same thing. But you won't you you will be getting Soul Reaver. You'll be getting Void Stone, and you'll be getting um either Warlocks or Ethereal. That's pretty much it. You'll want you'll want to cap out on CDR because your ult and your Mez. That's why you'll want to cap out on CDR. You'll get Pen Boots though, so you're gonna get Pen Boots definitely. And then cap CDR with. Genji's, um, breastplate, mantle, or spirit robes, stuff like that. Sylvanas Solo. Stop going to my fucking god history. Sylvanas Solo is fun. It's stupid, but it's fun. You can do it. I would recommend against it. I very much recommend against it, but you can do it. Uh, Ymir, same builds, pretty much. Pen boots, um, defense, CDR, same thing. That's what you're going to be getting on all the guardians for Solo. Um, for leveling, Ares, max your 3, then your 1, then your 2, and ult whenever possible. Athena, max your 3, then your 2, then your 1, ult whenever possible. Bacchus, I think you max your belly flop, actually, and then your 3, and then your 1, and then your ult whenever possible. Kabraken is 2, then it's your 1, then it's your 3, ult when possible. Kumba, it's your 1. Your three, your two, and then ult when possible. Um, Sylvanas, it's your one, two, three, ult whenever you can. Xing Chen, I wouldn't play Xing Chen solo though. His ultimate is useless. It's not good. Ymir, two, three, one, ult when possible. That's what you got for Guardians. 